For weeks, an American hero has been in the fight of his life against the coronavirus. Well, tonight, Navy veteran Jamal Thomas is ecstatic that this could be his last night as he sleeps in the hospital. WMAR 2 News is your voice for veterans. And tonight, Eddie Kadem had a virtual visit with this veteran and the team that saved his life. His doctor calling his recovery nothing short of a miracle, but it's because of all the hard work of the people working here diligently. He's been here for over a month, and he's looking forward to finally heading home. It's real, man. Like, from all I heard I've been through and from what I've been told, man, I, I was told I, it was touch and go, like it. I almost lost my life. Navy veteran Jamal Thomas doesn't remember much from the beginning of the most difficult mission he's ever been on. I was told I was in a coma. I don't remember that. Like, I remember pulling the ventilator out my mouth. But, like, even that is, like, in and out. Fighting for his life against an invisible enemy that took over his body. People believe in miracles, can't say this was a miracle. I mean, many of his systems literally shut down, his body shut down. But uh, we were able to bring him back. And it took a lot of doctors, not just us, but it took from the intensivists, the infectious diseases, the blood doctors, you know, every single, you know, discipline nearly is called upon in these kind of scenarios. And then there are the nurses, the incredible nurses who all day, every day are doing everything they can to keep themselves safe while keeping patients like Thomas alive. This was a teamwork makes a dream work effort. I applaud my nurses for coming together to um, understand that co um, coronavirus is a, a deadly virus, but we want no patient left behind. So they have stepped up, put their boots on and um, strapped up their gear and just did the work. Many of the nurses and doctors at the VA serve themselves. Mishandra Collins is a Navy vet who still serves in the reserves. I couldn't imagine being on a, a, a better team. Um, they always put the patients first. Um, they all their, their goal each day is to put a smile on those faces of these veterans that we serve. All working together to carry one of their own to what seemed like an impossible finish line at the start. Man, it's real. It's very, I would say take precaution and be safe. The hope is he's going to get released tomorrow. We're going to get video of that release when it happens, and then it'll be two weeks of self-quarantine at his house, and then he can hug his daughters again. At the VA Medical Center in downtown Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. A great, great story. Jamal, your family, and the nurses and doctors. Man.